I will teach you how to design electrical system for fire pump. Do you heard about log rotor current? Okay, I will teach you. This design based on NEMA code and NSBA 20. Please subscribe MEP Engineer channel for learn more MEP designs. Uh, are you a MEP engineer or MEP student, mechanical student? Or if you have interest to learn about fire protection design, please take this Udemy course. You can learn more fire design about BSI code and NSPA code for $13. You can take this co course from this link I provided with video. Fire pump electrical supply. Don't protect your electrical fire pump for earth fault. Don't protect fire pump for overload. Protect fire pump for short circuit current. Ask from your fire department for more information. NEMA code design curve. There are four curves class A, class B, class C, class D. The y axis per unit for full load torque. The x axis is spread with percentage. This 100 percentage, 80 percentage, 40 percentage. Normal fire induction motor is class B curve type. You can see. In purple color, the class B curve, motor starting curves. This is the torque curve. Sorry, this is the torque curve. Uh, this is a full torque. And this is rock rotor torque. According to the lock rotor curve, your lock rotor current is 6 times from your full load current. Normally lock rotor current is normally lock rotor current is 6 times by your full load current. NSP20 design guide. Uh, NSP20 standard for installation of stationary pump for fire protection. Chapter 9 for electrical driven pumps. And you can see this code in NSP20 is a horsepower of your uh, fire pump motor. It's a lock rotor current according to the 460 triphase voltage. And there is a your pump number according to the rated horsepower. Think your pump is 50 HP and your lock rotor current is 362 ampere. And here that, that code is G. Number is G. G. Pump we have to multiply your full load current by six time. Okay. And you have to select your breaker according to the lock rotor current. Your country replace voltage is different according to your country. So you have to calculate it. You can learn that calculation from Udemy course. So you have to divide 460 by your country replace voltage and multiply it by this lock rotor current. Take this Udemy course and be a fire protection design master. This is electrical supply system. This is a generator. 
and transformer. This is ATS. I think you all know about ATS. And uh, this is a uh, building main air circuit break in main switch board and this building bus bar. We have to take separate uh, electrical line before your main electrical panel to fire pump. This breaker is MCCCB with shunt. This shunt measure your electrical fault, electrical earth fault and it give signal to fire alarm so there is a earth fault this is not trip this is only give signal to the fire alarm there is a earth fault and this is designed for lock rotor current so so this there was a uh, short circuit this is trip off because this is only protect for short circuit if this fire pump is overload normally we design fire pump without overloads if this is fire pump is overload this is not trip uh, and also we have to take separate branch from generator with separate ATS. Okay, think your breaker is according to the uh, lock rotor current. Think this is uh, 50 horsepower and your lock rotor current is 362. Do you know how to select? Cable, don't select your cable for 362. Take your full load current and multiply it by 1.25 and select your cable. Also, when your fire pump in full load current, your voltage drop below 5%. If it is in uh, uh, lock rotor current, your cable uh, voltage drop below 15%. Okay. Example calculation. Take this Udemy course and you can see more example calculations. Thank you.